Greetings from Malamater, Mongolia. Today we are here with Parliament Member Tsingong Sarosakhan. And Ms. Tsingong, let's get right to it. Uh, it's not an everyday occurrence that Mongolia is in the center of attention at the political, international political landscape. And especially with Putin's arrival, it sparked a controversy at various stages, locally, regionally, internationally. And let's talk about that controversy right away. What, what, what happened there? Since the Ukrainian and Russian war has started, mm -hmm. Mongolia has been able to sustain our neutral position mm -hmm. uh, because because of the geopolitical reasons that we are sandwiched between Russia and China. And therefore, uh, I think as a democratic country and also the world has been understanding towards to mm -hmm. our situation in Mongolia. But after to Putin's visit that has been like before two days ago, the world has been shocked that Mongolia did not follow the ICC uh, protocol. protocol and uh, arrest Putin. But um, I think as a parliament member that Mongolia has to stand a united uh, vision there. Mm -hmm. And we also have to communicate with the world why did it happen and what is our situation right now because uh, we have to understand the Mongolian current situation for real. Actually, in Mongolia, we are thriving right now about energy independency. Mm -hmm. And this is the main focus of the government in mm -hmm. Mongolia. And in 2022, after the uh, Ukraine and Russian war has started, the ambassadors of the European uh, nation made a joint press conference mentioning that those uh, countries are willing to help Mongolia to be independent on energy. Mm -hmm. So what I see is, I do think we have to now talk openly about in which uh, project. We've been talking about energy independence and especially liberation of the energy sector. And if and when that happens, how confident are you that investors will uh, be even more involved with this particular sector in Mongolia? So by liberating the energy sector, of course, this would uh, make the financial benefits uh, to the investors open the doors. But not the only financial benefits is not enough for the mm -hmm. investors to come into Mongolia because of the uh, geopolitical situation that we are sandwiched between Russia and China. So therefore, we need right now the support, the political support, the decisions, to invest real money into Mongolia and so that the sustainable energy projects start on. Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe that we can overcome the difficulties that comes with liberating the energy Because sector. of the coalition government that... Mongolia has been thriving to bring investors into the energy sector, mm -hmm. but it has been very hard for us to move our mm -hmm. projects. So, for example, for the UNESCO World Heritage Convention, just the recommendation was enough to um, stop our hydropower, mm -hmm. uh, hydroelectric and it power plant. Have been. It shouldn't have been. So, right now, we would, if we are in the center of the attention uh -huh. of, Mong of, of the world, uh, sometimes we have to be, we have to show courage and. Mm -hmm. That is exactly why we are basically asking for international support, right? Yes. And there, there's a lot of implications after that. If we talk about sustainable development goal, yes. um, well, the, for on number six, uh, it, it's mentioned clean water and sanitation. Yes. And that's the you know, hydroelectric power plant. Uh, that, that would be in accordance to that. And then number seven, there is a affordable and clean energy and the tenth one was reduced inequalities which means that bigger countries tend to have the upper hand in negotiations with the, the smaller countries you know as a citizen and i believe that i share this view with many people the unesco world heritage committee they have been heavily influenced by russians if you look at the, the leaders of this particular organization and i want to ask uh, about this it's not even a decision it's a recommendation so the particular concerns of environmental hazard to Sidling River Baikal Lake it is, it is, is that a legit an, reason? It is not a legit reason because the Russians are using this uh, recommendation 
as an excuse to stop the hydropower so it's, a, it's not a reason it's an excuse yes, it's, an, it's an excuse actually it should be we are neighboring countries we can't escape each other we will be always in this uh, neighboring situation so therefore we have to learn to negotiate uh, with Russia, with right. Mongolians, right. and also Russians have also oh, also has to accept that Mongolians' interests and Russian interests have to have its align. balance, have to align, and right? it has to have its because uh, previously and it has never been beneficial for Mongolian hmm. side, and we have always been uh, following its on the way. Right. So right now, Mongolians has to make a courage to say that it shouldn't go further with this uh -huh. and therefore it would mean that we are not afraid to sit on the round table with the russians to negotiate our deals in terms of so that it will be um, benef mutual beneficial for both right. countries and uh, but the other hand we have to think about our national independence and therefore we would be needing uh, investors from all over the world so that to ensure the security to, yes to ensure this and you know we have to make one thing clear which is whenever we it, it's not even going against russia but whenever we stand up to them perhaps you know there's preconceived notion amongst mongolian that if you're not pro-russian then you're probably pro-west all that. but it, it it's not about russia or china or any other country. It's about being pro-Mongolia, right? It's about yes. being on Mongolia's side. Yes. Yeah. So and, you know, with, uh, going back to the Yingwald project, it's, it, and it's not even about energy independence. It's, it's a big part of it, but another implication is about clean water resource, right? And so there are so many layers to this particular project and many other renewable projects moving forward. And uh, you've mentioned geopolitical landscape here, and whether you're from the West or everywhere else, the benefits of, I don't want to say helping out, but being involved in this new trend will have so many advantages for all parties involved. Yes. Right. So the feasibility study of this hydroelectric power plant is $827 million. So if you would find this uh, investors, it doesn't have to be one investor, it, can, it could be crowdfunding. And if you would do that, that would mean that make, we are making huge steps towards our independence on energy. And also, as you have mentioned, mm -hmm. this is our guarantee for clean water. So we do understand that Russian interest is to have influence in Mongolia through the power supply, through energy and fuel. Mm -hmm. But And also it is uh, for Russia a source of money so that it's an export, um, it export good for them. Right. But our but but russia has also has to understand that the neighboring country mongolia has also its needs to be independent mm -hmm. on energy and also have the clean water supply right. that, so that so there has to be mutual yeah, yes so that so we have to have to meet its mutual interests and it hasn't been that way because the so-called friendly relationship has always been one having an upper hand over the other and then the other one basically submitting to the particular dominance, right? I, I think that we never really um, openly talked about this matter uh -huh. um, in, in the last Do you think years. it's because we've had politicians w with Russian influence ba back in the days? Is, or uh, it was is, there other reason? It is not guaranteed, but it could be because of uh, socialism that has been heavily in influenced our uh -huh. society back then. It's only been but 30 some years. Yes, it's, so. it's been 30 years. But right now we have a different system going uh -huh. on. And therefore people are not afraid to talk about uh, their thoughts and uh, free speech mm -hmm. is part of our big values in Mongolia. So what is the Western uh, incentive? For, to, to help out Mongolia politically and financially? So, as I see it is Western uh, countries are far away from us. But in our hearts, we believe that we are neighboring countries because we share the same values. Ah. Therefore, 
um, the Western countries have been saying that they would support us mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, energy sector, but they have... But why? The reason is so that Mongolia stays uh, a democratic country and so that to strengthen our values, mm -hmm. so that we share the same values and to be connected to uh, each mm -hmm. other. So I think that is a very big, uh, that, that is, I think that's a very big uh, commitment to make because Mongolia is in this region the peril of democracy, we say. Right. We oh, like so say th th there would be so a leverage when it comes to dealing yes. with Russia or even China. Yeah. And so. we would, uh, we are in a very uh, strategic position mm -hmm. to be, to see it. So therefore, uh, I think the Western countries, the uh, democratic countries that wants Mongolia to stand strong in the values of democracy, mm -hmm. they would now need to uh, support us. And it not only with talking, not only with uh, or blaming that Mongolia mm -hmm. is not following the uh, values, but right now we have to understand the situation in Mongolia and now move and uh, make a step. All right, so overall, Mongolia needs to have uh, energy independence, energy security, and in order for that to happen, uh, this country needs to have an understanding with the Russians and while understanding each other's situation and there needs to be political support uh, from the Western countries and also financial support from investors all around the world and that would have so many implications all around, right? Yes, and right now I do think that the most important part is that we have to be open for every uh, investors and for every uh, projects that we have on, on the table. Mm -hmm. So right now it is the timing has never been gr greater than this. So right. uh, I am positive that we can lighten up Mongolia from starting from now. Mm -hmm.